Today, I'm going to be shiny hunting every single starter Pokemon. However, instead of catching them, I'm going to be killing them. Welcome to Catch or Kill, the new challenge I've invented where every time I find a shiny, I'll have to spin the Wheel of Misfortune to see if I'm allowed to catch it or if I'm forced to kill it. Today's theme being all 24 starter Pokemon available in the Indigo Disc DLC. This is going to be absolutely brutal because based on the 50-50 odds of the wheel, only around 12 of the shinies are predicted to survive. Will your favorite starter make it out alive? Comment below if it does. Well then, to break the tension, I decided to get right into the first hunt for one of my childhood favorites, Trico. Oh yes, shiny Trico, there he is. Oh my God, he looks so good. I love this shiny. Oh, look at him jump. Well, it's time to see if we get to catch him or if we have to kill him. I so hope we can get this one. If we're gonna get any, oh no, it's kill. No, out of all of them, this is probably one of my most wanted ones. I'm so sorry. Sorry, little one. Oh, those sparkles look so cool on him. Goodbye, shiny Trico. This video idea sucks. Why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah, that was not a good feeling. But we're gonna have to get pretty familiar with it to complete the goal of finding all 24 starters. I decided to hunt for Sobble next because he's a very special starter to me. Back in 2019, I did a playthrough of beating Pokemon Sword only using Sobble. And that video absolutely blew up and is still to this day, after four years, my most viewed video of all time. I've also been a member of the Sobble squad since the day he was revealed because he's just so perfect and the thought of potentially having to kill his shiny was excruciating. To hunt him, I just went up and down this muddy pond with water boosts on in the savannah biome and he surprisingly took over two hours to find. Shiny Sobble! There he is! Oh, I love him! Hello, you are adorable. I don't know if I have to kill you or not yet. Well, let's find out. Come on, he's a part of the channel's history. I need him. And, oh, come on. Yes, yes. Oh my god, it's a catch. Let's go. Yes, Shiny Sobble is mine. Hello, you adorable little baby. Oh, I love him so much. And you know what? I think I want to use a Beast Ball. I'm just going to reload the game if it doesn't catch. And it broke out instantly. Okay. Yes! Oh, we got him. We got Shiny Sobble. Sobble win a beast ball. That is awesome. Thankfully, this video wasn't all death and gloom. Next, I went for the Alolan Inferno Cat, whose shiny evolution line is very unique, but also really cool. <gasps> shiny Linen, let's go. Wow, that was really quick. That was like, what, 15 minutes? Oh, you're an awesome shiny and so is Incineroar. But am I allowed to catch it? We'll never know. Yes, we will. We'll know in half a second almost. <gasps> Come on. No, it's another kill. Why am I doing this to myself? Damn, this is a good one as well. Well, at least I got Sobble. Goodbye, Litten. I'm so sorry. That was two shiny starters killed already. I was starting to regret my decision on debuting this challenge on shiny starters of all Pokemon because they're just so cool and iconic. But we pushed forward, using the remaining time of my fire boost to hunt for a score bunny. And well, let's just say this hunt couldn't have gone much quicker. What? Oh my god, it has been two minutes since I killed that Litten. I'm literally just walking around to see where I can get spawns and shiny score bunny. But will the Wheel of Fortune let me catch you? And oh my god, it's gonna be a kill. No, not another one. That's two in a row. I love you, score bunny, but I'm not too fussed about having to kill you. I'm not that crazy about yours or Cinderace's shiny. And goodbye, little rabbit. I'm sorry. I must have been really in the mood for fire types because we then moved on to Sinnoh's monkey starter. Chimcha! This was the first time I used an outbreak to hunt in this video, seeing as it wasn't possible to isolate the spawns exclusively to him with encounter boosts. <gasps> monkey! Monkey! Red monkey! We found him! Oh, Chimchar is so chill. I love him. But can I catch him? I kind of hope so. He's probably my favorite Sinnoh shiny starter, I'd say. And that is looking like a catch! Yes! Oh, it's been a while. Yes, let's go. We caught the monkey. We had finally got our second catch, which was such a relief. And I felt like evolving him into Monferno and then into Infernape because he looks absolutely awesome. It was then time for me to hunt for the very first Pokemon in the Pokedex, Bulbazor. He could easily be isolated with grass boosts in the coastal biome and took just under half an hour to find. Is that it? Oh yes, shiny Bulbasaur! Such a happy little frog. It is a frog, right? Well, Venusaur is definitely a frog. I don't know about Bulbasaur. Hopefully we don't have to kill this one. Their shinies are really cool. Well, hopefully we don't have to kill any. They're all shinies after all. Oh no, it's a kill. Bruh. Oh, this sucks. Why would the wheel make me do this? How could I kill something that's just so chill and just vibing? Sorry, Bulbasaur, I don't make the rules around here. The wheel... Well, actually, I made the rules for the wheel, so... Yeah, it is my fault. Staying with the theme of grass-type Pokemon, I moved 
moved on to one of my top three favorite starters, Rowlet, whose shiny is also in the top three as far as starters go because it just looks incredible. And it even gets better as it evolves. Just look how fantastic Decidueye looks. I was praying we weren't gonna have to kill this one. And after a 40 minute hunt, we'd soon discover if he was worthy of living. Oh, shiny Rowlet! He looks so good! Oh, I love him! I oh, I need to catch this one. Just look at him just vibing in his own world. Please let me catch this one. I'm begging. Come on, come on. Oh, that looks like a catch. Don't go to kill. Don't go to kill. Yes, yes, yes. That's a catch. That's a catch. We got shiny Rowlet. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello, Rowlet. It's your lucky day because I'm not going to be killing you. We got him. And it turns out our luck wasn't over yet because after a 40 minute hunt for the final Alolan starter, we were able to spare another life. Hey, there he is, Shiny Poplio. I'm glad I spotted that. I was worried I was going to miss him. He doesn't change that much. How's it going, little guy? You know what? You're extremely overhated. Everyone clowned on you. I, I mean, you are a clown. But like, you did not deserve the hate you got. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to end your life today. Come on, don't make me add salt to the wound, but it looks like it's going to be a catch. Let's go. It's your lucky day because once I catch you, I'm going to evolve you into Primarina. I love that Pokemon. And gotcha. So I kept my promise and evolved it into the majestic Mermaid Seal. Next up was Froakie another absolute banger. Your shiny isn't that special to start with, but eventually turns into the amazing Black Greninja. I was really hoping to be able to catch this one, and thankfully I didn't have to wait too long for the results, seeing as this was only a 12 minute hunt. <gasps> shiny Froakie! Oh, look at him hop around. I would really like you because Greninja is amazing. You're amazing too, Froakie. What will the wheel decide? We're about to find out. Catch or kill, catch or kill. Come on, come on. Clock over to catch, clock over to catch. <gasps> yes! Froakie is safe. Oh, would you look at that? You open your eyes. Hello, sleepyhead. Don't mind me. I'm just going to imprison you in a ball forever. I then decided to evolve him into a Frogadier and then into the iconic shiny Greninja. Now, if you're looking to shiny hunt for starters, I'd say the absolute easiest one to get the most spawns off would be Chess. Spin. Seeing as using grass type boost in the charge stone cavern will literally spawn them everywhere and his shiny is impossible to miss due to how much it changes. Naturally this one also came very quickly. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, oops. I did not mean to bump into him. Uh, hello. Yeah, I definitely caught him off guard. Hold up. I don't know if I have to kill you or not. Did I wake him up to give him a new home or did I wake him up so he can enjoy his last few breaths? Oh no, it's looking like the ladder. Come on, go to catch. Oh, come on, please, please. No. Come on. There's like two pixels away. Well, this is unfortunate. You were this close to surviving, but it is time to meet your maker. Oh no. Snivy was up next and needed an outbreak in the savannah biome to effectively hunt it. This might be a hot take, but I actually kind of like this evolution line. And the shinies aren't half bad either. Hey, there it is. Shiny Snivy. Wow, that's actually such a good color for it. Teal just works for it. The question is, am I allowed to catch it or do I have to stab it in the heart with Iron Valiant? That is looking like a don't go to kill, don't go to kill. No. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close to a catch. Of course it rolled over. Hey, Snivy, do you want to know what you and Chessman have in common? No, it's not that you're both grass types. It's that you are both this close to surviving. Enjoy heaven or hell. I don't know if you're good or bad. Our next hunt was also a really special one. Because as far as I can remember, Tepic was probably the first Pokemon I ever got in a game back in Pokemon Black. Because my friend showed me, it evolved into this amazing looking flaming boar. And thankfully, I still have him to this day in Pokemon Home. Somehow he has Pokerus, which is a really cool surprise. And I named him Tepi? Wow, naming a Tepic Tepi. Real creative, Jaden. Also, apparently he was caught in 2003, which is literally impossible. So I guess my DS's clock wasn't exactly set correctly. Anyways, my point is, getting this shiny would be really cool. And I think Embor's blue flaming shiny is super underrated. <gasps> shiny Tepig! That was so quick. That was two minutes. Hello. I'm going to be real. I'm not that crazy about your shiny, but you as a Pokemon are very special to me. And I love shiny Embor. Come on, let me catch this one. He was based, I'm pretty sure he was my first Pokemon I ever got. And that is looking like a very clear catch. Let's go. Oh, that feels so good. A lot of people say shiny hunting's too easy in this game. You know what I say? Play with a 50% chance of having to kill the shiny. It makes it a lot more exciting. We got him. Cyndaquil was up next and was pretty unique, seeing as it barely spawns anywhere. Only in two tiny caves in the polar biome, I believe. So the way we'd hunt this one is by giving ourselves fire boosts and doing the old school picnic reset method. Now I've got absolutely no idea how we even remotely got enough space to set up one on these rocks, but it turns out we do and I'm definitely not complaining about it. Almost an hour into the hunt, we found what we were looking for. <gasps> 
Yes! Shiny Cyndaquil! Oh, that's so cool! Wow, this hunt was brutal! Sometimes, like, one would spawn at a time, but wow, we got a lot to spawn this time. Oh, I so hope I'm allowed to catch you. Cyndaquil's definitely one of the hardest starters to hunt. He barely spawns anywhere, and that is a catch! Let's go! Oh, that's such a relief. This is such a good one to be able to catch. Cyndaquil's so cool. Oh my god, Eruption doesn't kill him, does it? Okay, I thought it might do recoil, but it doesn't. And we got the Cyndaquil! Now, this will happen quite a lot when shiny hunting in this game, but we ended up finding our first shiny we weren't targeting for the video whilst looking for a chikorita. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> He just spawned in me. <laughs> Shiny executor out of nowhere. You are not who I'm looking for. But <laughs> okay, I'll take it. You know what? We're, we're actually going to spin the wheel on this. That is insane. I don't think I've ever had a shiny like literally spawn on top of me. Can we catch him? Yes, we can. Oh, let's go. That executor deserves to be caught, honestly. What a way to introduce yourself. And caught. This won't be the only time we encounter the wrong shiny, but we ended up getting that chikorita not too long after. Oh. Oh, oh my god, it's asleep. Hey, the, the, that's who we were trying to get earlier. Chikorita, probably my least favorite starter ever. I'm embracing for all the angry comments. But is it allowed to survive? I honestly don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chikorita fans. It's a kill, I'm sorry. I kind of jinxed it. It was doomed from the start. First executor took the spotlight, and then I basically just spoke your death into existence. But it's all right. We'll get him another day. Now, Totodile. Oh, Totodile. You were not easy to find. Only you using water type boosts was not enough to get him to exclusively spawn, meaning we had to find an outbreak. But for whatever reason, unlike any of the other starters, his outbreak was incredibly rare. I spent almost an hour and a half literally just date skipping to find one. But not only that, after I did eventually find one, the outbreak itself was in a horrible spot that struggled to spawn more than four or five Totodile at a time. So naturally, the shiny took its damn time to show up, taking just over four hours from start to finish. Wait. Oh my god, yes! Oh, it's about time! That's it, right? Yeah, that's shiny Totodile! Oh my god, you took so long! Finally, this hunt is over! But the worst is yet to come, we still gotta spin the wheel. Come on, this hunt has been brutal. Picnic reset after picnic reset. No, no, no! Oh no! Are you kidding me? We gotta kill it! All that work for nothing. I cannot believe we lost the 50-50. Well, it was nice knowing you, Totodile. I got to see you for a total of 30. 30 seconds and now you are dead. After all that, we didn't even get to keep it. Oh, well, at least that would be the worst hunt over and done with for the challenge. And thankfully, our next one would be super simple, seeing as we were going for the adorable little Turtwig, who has such an amazing shiny. We could spawn heaps of them with the isolation hunting method, which I absolutely love, because I can totally turn my brain off and just ride around in circles until we find the sparkling tiny leaf. <gasps> Yo, shiny Turtwig! Oh, you look so good. You know what, Chimcha? I think Turtwig's actually my favorite Sinnoh shiny. For the starters, at least. This one's surely a catch, right? Come on, after what happened with Totodile, just give me this one. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, look at him hop over. No shiny Turtwig deserves to die. And luckily, you're not one of them. And gotcha. I still had a bit of time left over on the grass sandwich boosts. And with Grookey being our next target, he ended up being our third shiny this video who was found in just two minutes. <gasps> what? Uh, okay. Hello? Hello, shiny Turtwig. No, Grookey. Turtwig's still on my mind because, like, I just started this hunt. That was incredibly quick. Oh my god. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. I don't care if I have to kill this one. His shiny is very underwhelming. And, oh my god, it is a kill. I, I am so sorry, Grookey. But I think I just spoke your death into existence. Um, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Goodbye, little monkey. Sorry. Man, I was really harsh on him, wasn't I? It was then time to search for the cute little baby penguin, Piplup. A great Pokemon with a simple but effective shiny. Using the outbreak method, it was yet another quick hunt. <gasps> are you shiny? Oh my god, you are shiny. These hunts are going really quickly. Oh, he's adorable. But will I have to kill him? Will the penguin survive? I'm gonna flip a coin. If heads, it means yes. I lost the coin. Okay, I'll just look at the wheel, because that's gonna... It's a catch! It's a catch! That's all you need to know. Hello, Piplup! No, you're not gonna be one of the victims of my genocide. You're lucky! I think I'm enjoying this power too much now. Purposely killing shinies is bringing out the bad side of me. Oh my god, he won't catch. Thank you! Oh my god. Now, although it wasn't that long ago we faced the pain of hunting for a Totodile, it turns out we'd be having another longer-than-average journey looking for another water-type starter. Oshawott. And although outbreaks of him were really easy to find and functioned perfectly fine, the shiny just would not 
not show up anywhere. In fact, despite him being 95% of the spawns I was seeing due to being in an outbreak, we ended up finding another undesired shiny. Oh, that's a shiny dugong, isn't it? Yep, you're not who I want. You're not who I think anyone wants. Your shiny is horrible. Well, I spun the wheel for executor, so I'm going to spin it for you as well. Honestly, I'd be happy to kill this one, but it's a catch, okay? I mean, it's a shiny, but is it really, like... Come on. We live in a society where this shiny dugong gets to live, but not all these starters I've been killing. You know what? I don't care. I'm killing you. And finally, 15 minutes later, with a total of 3 hours and 45 minutes of hunting from start to finish, we managed to find the little shiny otter. <gasps> yes! That's the shiny. You know what? This shiny isn't even that bad, despite being so subtle. But will I catch it though? If heads... Yes, it was heads, so that means yes. The wheel's gonna say yes. Catch! It's a catch! The coin doesn't lie! Fly Coco coin, thank you. Mwah. Squirtle was next and was another quick and simple hunt that only took 10 minutes. Oh, I saw that green shell. You can't hide from me. Damn, that, again? That was pretty quick. I think that was like 10 minutes. Not the craziest, but a really cool shiny still. Come on, you gotta let me catch the Gen 1 starters. Hopefully we're able to get all three of them. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm sorry. I guess we'll kill them then. The mighty wheel says no. Look, it, it's nothing personal. I just have to do what the wheel says. Goodbye, buddy. And then Torchic was found even faster than the water squirrel. Seeing as using the picnic method in this cave in the polar biome will spawn heaps of the fire chickens in a concentrated spot. Oh, that's the shiny. <laughs> that was so quick. Hello, little chicken. <gasps> Look at them run. They're adorable. Oh, I love Torchic. All three of the Gen 3 starters just go so hard. Come on, wheel. Don't make me kill the baby chicken. It just hatched. No, 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 no. Oh, that one hurts. Gen 3 has a special place in my heart. Oh, stop looking so adorable. You're making me feel even worse. Oh, I can't watch. I can't watch. It's not my fault. I promise. Oh, where'd the chicken go? Now, this entire time, I've been wondering why something particular has hasn't happened in this video yet. It's something that commonly occurs in no less than every two Jaden Wilson shiny hunting videos. And that would be a shiny fail. But it turns out that quota would soon be filled up during my hunt for Charmander. Yo, there he is. Wow, you are so yellow. <laughs> yep, that's all I've got to say about him. Come on, we've got to get this one for the Black Charizard. You just made me kill Squirtle as well, so give me this Gen 1 starter. That looks like a catch. <gasps> yes, let's go. That's a huge dub. I know you were just brought into this world, but you're not going to be a Charmander for very long. We're obviously going to evolve you. <gasps> no. <laughs> He died! Oh my god. I didn't save. I definitely didn't save. I have no memory of saving. Are you kidding me? Well, you wouldn't be the first shiny who's been killed today. Now, yes, a shiny fail was always a painful experience. But let's be fair. In a video where shinies are killed every few minutes, it wasn't too bad this time around. Only two more remained, with our second last target being the adorable little mudkip. This hunt was pretty unique, seeing as we basically just have to drive around the torchlit labyrinth with encounter boosts. <gasps> oh, purple mudkip. Purple mudkip alert. Oh, that is a fantastic shiny. Again, all the Gen 3 Pokemon hit so hard. Come on, game. You made me kill Torchic not too long ago. Give me the Axolotl. Yes, that's a catch. Do not go to kill. That is a catch. Let's go. Thank you very much. Now, as long as you don't kill yourself like Charmander, you should be fine, Mudkip. And there we go. And finally, I saved one of my favorites for last, Fennekin. The shiny family turning all the fur gray looks incredible. And I won't be happy if the wheel forces me to kill it. After an hour of hunting in this outbreak, it was time for the fate of the final shiny to be determined. Oh, yes! Shiny Fennekin! Whoa, that is such a good shiny. Oh my god, you look amazing. And you're the last one. No more killing after this. Come on, Fennekin is absolutely goaded. I need this one as well. Come on, dude. Go, go, go to catch, go to catch. Yes! We actually get to catch the final shiny. Damn, that is so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. The massacre is over. And we got him. And that's every starter complete. Not including Paldea. And here's the results of who survived and who had to be killed. Did your favorite one make it out alive? Comment down below if it did or not. Anyways, this was very painful. And thank you all so much for watching.